two people actually graduated from high school last year, and they asked to come back to come speak to you guys today. So please welcome Kosov Chakravarti and Joshua Crawley. My name, as many of you know, is Kostav Chakrabarty. I'm on Instagram, known as uh, Big K. And I'm a student athlete at the University of Georgia, majoring in psychology and geneticist on pre-medicine. And I asked to come back because I realized the importance of just extracurricular activities in high school. So I wanted to see if, um, if FBLA would give me an opportunity to really motivate and inspire you guys to become a part of this amazing organization. So, who are we? Um, I'm Kosov, <laughs> and this is Josh, and together we run a nonprofit called the Big K Foundation. Uh, the overall business, Big K Incorporated, will be launched next year in the June of 2020. Currently, we have about 18 members. Uh, most of them are students at the University of Georgia. Uh, we have a few like Josh and uh, a few others that are at um, Emory, GGC, Tech, and those types of schools. So um, if you want more information, uh, like to find out what we do for the, for the community, for schools, for homeless shelters, uh, just go to our website at bigcavefoundation.org. Hey, hey, so, can anybody guess what this number represents? GPA 2.5? Average. <laughs> 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 All right, so while I was in high school, I had a 2.5 GPA. I was terrible at school. Um, I turned into stuff way, never studied, uh, sleeping class, you know. But I never let that number define me or what I was capable of. So while I was in high school, I started a brand called In The Trends my sophomore year, and I sold a rough estimate of 300 to 400 shirts, hoodies, hats, and stickers. So, this obviously took away from school because like I wouldn't pay attention and like it just I would focus on the brand and not my schoolwork, which was not a bad thing. But, you know. So my sophomore year, I started the brand and it was just like I started selling stuff. <laughs> so my junior year, I took marketing class with Miss Henson. And she talked about this club called DECA, and I was like, DECA was that? Like, she kept talking about it. And it's a club that is based on business and entrepreneurship, and you can compete. So I was like, oh, I run a business, and I'm an entrepreneur, so let me see what this is about. So I went to the first meeting, and I went in there, and I was surrounded by kids with 4.0s. They took all AP classes, just the exact opposite of what I was. But I didn't let that stop me from still doing the club. So seeing what it was about, I wanted to compete and see like what I was made of, basically. So I competed my junior year, and I didn't make it to state, but I never let that stop me either. In my senior year, I made it to state, and I made a lot of friends while I was there. I met Kostov, and I met a lot of kids that were the exact, exact opposite of me, going to Rice University, all these prestigious universities, and I made a lot of connections. Made, like met a lot of people and that really helped like develop who I am now. So what I want you to take from this story is to not let a number define who you are because I know like not everybody here has a 4.0 but it doesn't mean you can't do what you want to do and basically do whatever you want to do. So I ended up having a speech at my graduation and I did a more clubs like Black Student Union and I just never let 
this number defined who I am. So never let anybody tell you that you're too dumb or you know not smart enough because if I can do it, you can too. And join FBLA. Woo! Introduction to FBLA. Now, as um, one of the officers was saying just a few minutes ago, um, I can see that there's a lot of freshmen here, so y'all are probably like, what the heck is FBLA? Like, it's just four random letters. But it does stand for something. Future Business Leaders of America. It is the largest student business organization in America. And there are numerous academic and leadership competitions that you can attend, such as uh, state leadership conference, fall leadership conference, national, like all those, um, all those competitions at various levels, you know, local, statewide, and nationwide. And what I liked about FBLA, I actually joined my junior year of high school. One thing I liked about it was community service. And the reason why I like that is because as a uh, Many of you know, had a pretty uh, pretty harsh life story. Uh, dad committed suicide when I was 14, uh, homeless. Uh, mom died of breast cancer when I was 17. The day after she died, I dropped out of high school, but then that next day I also came back, and my counselor introduced me to a bunch of, you know, extracurriculars, HOSA, FBLA, DECA, uh, all, these, all these clubs. And so I, I, so I came to FBLA's first meeting, and I found it intriguing, you know, like business, like, you know, you're in charge of yourself. You're you're making your money on your terms. You're not working for anybody else. You're not enslaved to anybody else. And after a few meetings, I really caught on to it. I really developed that business mindset, that hustle mindset. And and um, but what I liked about it most was the community service. The fact that FBLA does more than any other club in high school to serve the community, and not just like FBLA in general, like Parkview FBLA. I've, I've gone on so many ch like charitable trips with Parkview FBLA to really serve the community, and that's really what it's all about. Like, 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 like some of you guys just want to do these clubs, I mean, to look good on your resume, and it does look good, but I mean, really, like, that's, that's like just a weird mindset that, that you guys have. So just like take so just take that out and realize that life is not about you because if life was about you, don't you think you would have been successful right when you were born? Now, when I joined this club, I also wanted to get some benefits out of it. I wanted to help people, but I also wanted to get some benefits. So the first thing it will do it was increase your knowledge in business and marketing. FBLA helped me launch my own business, Big Hand Incorporated, launching uh, June of 2020. Um, it really helped me gain uh, personal, interpersonal, soft and hard skills, make my communication better. And the second thing it does, it helps you prepare to become a leader in all aspects of, of your life. Going into high school, I was just a shy kid. Like, I didn't have any friends. I was desperate for girls, low grades, and yeah, I know, <laughs> it's crazy. And, and all this other weird stuff. But, but, once, but once I joined, come on guys. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, what did I say? Um, so FBLA, it helps you become a leader. So now I'm in charge of eight full-time employees of my nonprofit, and then obviously next year with the overall business. Now the third thing it does, it gives you opportunities to get, get back to your community. Like I'm repeatedly saying, like it's not about just being in FBLA. It's how you can help other people through FBLA. And the fourth thing was it will bring out your competitive spirit. Um, I, I didn't necessarily win anything at, uh, in my competitions at FBLA. I went to SLC. I believe I uh, got like a seventh place or something, you know, like like at the bottom. But it really brought out my competitive spirit, and and like I value that over winning prizes. Like um, my competitive spirit, like now it just propelled me to like you know work hard in school, study hard, make new friends, like I did uh, with. Josh, and so uh, we can go to the next one. And how FBLA impacted our lives. So, so, uh, so these two pictures right here are ones from um, last year's SLC. This one is a selfie. Oh my God, uh, that I took at SLC. <laughs> Didn't know. Um, now, this one is um, 
won with all the winners. So we got Kelly who won a few stuff, I think. Clinton uh, and the twins, Cosby and Ozzy, we all graduated last year. Um, it's funny because the four, the four of us all attend the University of Georgia, which is pretty cool. But um, the see, the, so this is the last slide, but I want to end off with, I see a lot of potential here. At, at, at Parkview necessarily. Like, I went to Denmark, Alpharetta, South Forsyth. Those guys are powerhouses. I've, I've talked to like seven, 800 kids about joining F, FBLA, and there's a reason why those guys are powerhouses, because it, I mean, it's, it's all a numbers game. If you have more people joining, then more people are gonna win. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, so I, yeah, so I've spoken to a lot of them, but I see the most potential in Parkview, like I mean, this this is my home. Like I see a lot of my friends here, a lot of my enemies here. Um, so, uh, and but but nevertheless, I I can see y'all. Like if y'all put in the hard work and the time required, then we can really bring Parkview up academically. Because right now Parkview is really good athletically. I was on the football team last year. We won region. We went second round of playoffs. But now I'm really looking to make Parkview into a more competitive academic school. Now, um, new, numerous achievements. I mean, I got accepted to the University of Georgia with a full ride, so I think that's better than winning first place at, at some some competition. Second thing is leadership development. I mean, you develop yourself as a leader. This is what now, this is what 21st century job seekers look for in an individual. Like, everyone's a doctor, everyone's a lawyer, but what's gonna separate you from other people is that leadership ability. How well do you communicate with people whether you like them or not? And the third thing is networking with people. Oh, so this this is actually a cool story. So at SLC, I had the chance to network with uh, with high profile individuals, and and one of the most like intriguing relationships that I've made is with one of my executive directors. He couldn't come today. His name is Abey Chilakamari. He was the president of South Forsyth's um, FBLA um, organization. So he was in charge of about 800 kids before it split off into South Forsyth and Denmark. And so I I really value that relationship so much and SLC allowed me to network with him and really understand the fact that he wants to become a part of a you know a game-changing company like mine because we're gonna go worldwide in five years and so the fourth and last thing this is the most important introduction to the business world me um, like my my dream was like like senior year applying for college my plan is to become a neurosurgeon However, I mean, FBLA introduced me to the business world, and now I'm really intrigued. I'm, I'm taking a bunch of college courses in entrepreneurship, business, finance, marketing, right in the uh, Terry College of Business, which is one of the top in the nation. So it, it gives you a smooth transition into the mindset of what the business world is like. And I, I had the wrong mindset going into it because I thought the business world was all just like money, finance, and all. But it's really about how well do you communicate with people, how effectively can you recruit someone, whether to, whether it's a customer, team member, or anything of that nature. So I think that concludes our presentation, and I hope you guys liked it, but uh, thank you so much.